really busy couple of weeks to be fair. Um, for me, the next season always starts the, the moment the previous season finishes, so uh, it, it's not uncommon for this time to be busy. But yeah, with, with this restructure, a little bit, um, a little bit of change as well. So um, I'd like to say thank you to Andy Cullen, to be fair, for, for for what's been 12 years of service, which which in the modern game is hugely impressive. Um, but also not just not just the longevity, but also the achievements along the way. So. We thank him, we, we wish him the best of luck, um, albeit apart from two games next season. Um, and yeah, we move forward. Uh, football is a relentless business and if you don't change quickly and if you're not able to adapt to change, um, then you can easily be left behind. So yeah, really exciting times. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's a role I've given a lot of thought to, I've worked towards. Um, so yeah, can't wait to get going now, to be fair. It's a fantastic move from the club in my opinion, it shows um, how the chairman thinks, how, it, how, how he wants to strive forward and improve things. Um, the, the sporting director model, the structure if you like and the structure that we're going to implement here um, is something quite common in Europe, it's getting more and more common here. Um, and basically what, what we've discussed is, is somebody in the sporting director role and, and really managing the day to day football activity but also how that how that grows, the evolution of, of our, our football development pathway, how we get more academy players into the team. Um, and obviously, a huge part of that is recruitment. Um, and, you know, I'm not naive enough to think that that's not going to be a major part of the role because ultimately the most important people at our club are the players. And we put a lot of emphasis on, um, you know, financially making sure we have a really competitive team on the pitch. So for sure, uh, the, the immediate work starts now on that. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it because I've, I've been working with Russ. Um, there's, you know, this isn't an appointment that's searching for, for huge change. This is an appointment just to take us to the next step. I've got a fantastic relationship with Russ. We've already been working together throughout the recruitment process. Um, so I only see that getting stronger now. Um, and yeah, we, we, we will uh, be working hard to get a really competitive team out for next season. The backroom team here are um, incredibly talented and, and the culture that Russ has implemented um, has been fantastic. And he, he, under the leadership of Russ for the last 18 months, this club has changed a lot. It's gone back to what the chairman feels is important in terms of identity, in terms of the style of play. Um, and that, in this appointment, is how we can really grow now. Um, and really emphasise that and make sure that those things stay consistent and we never have to go through a period that we perhaps did prior to Russ. But yeah, we're really excited by it. Um, the backroom team's in a really strong place. Um, we'll all just get together now in this new structure with Simon um, and with the rest of our guys to really make sure that we're improving each season. There can be a lot of focus on um, on the football players, on, on how talented they are, on where they're going in their career journey. Uh, but actually it's about people as well and, and we want to make that step now with this structure and, uh, and the surroundings that we can create off the pitch. It's not just about developing football players, obviously that is hugely important, but we want to develop the person too. Um, and the chairman has, has started that off with a clear message of leadership from the top um, that he's given opportunity to people within and, and we want to build that climate and build that environment where our people can grow as football players but they also grow as a person as well. It's really important to how we're going to operate. I've come through um, an analysis background, so so first our first job in football is at Blackpool Football Club, um, sh straight in the deep end working in, in, in the Premier League there um, and then obviously joined Joined Crystal Palace from there, had five sustained uh, years of success really in the Premier League, um, which was a really proud achievement. And the, the, the opportunity here to head up the recruitment was huge for me, um, and I think we've improved. We've, it, it's taken time, but um, the best processes do take time, as, uh, as our manager will tell you. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's taken me to this point. Like I said, this is a role that I've studied about. Um, I've put a lot of effort into making sure this was the next step for my career. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward, I've got loads of ideas, uh, but like I said, the immediate focus will be on preparing for next season, supporting Russ and making sure that our recruitment decisions in the short term are, are, are the very best they can be. The manager talks about trust in the process and the recruitment process is, is very similar. If, if, I, if, if I rewind the clock 12 months back to last season, we were, we were in a position where the team had been playing a diamond formation, um, the season had been cut short, um, and Russ had changed the style of play in terms of intensity and we started to see the playing out from the back. And then what changed is we changed shape, um, the style evolved even further, 
and I think once we went through that period and we got to January, we we knew exactly the spaces that we needed to recruit. Um, and I feel that kind of sense of clarity uh, now for this window. So I, I'm excited by what we can do. The, the expectation after January is, is high, which is which is fine because because our standards are really high. And actually, what we're seeing now is. Um, is the market responding to a lot of people wanting to come and play for this football club. They, they look at the facilities, they look at the stadium, but they look at the style of play. Um, so we have the opportunity now to, to raise the recruitment bar and just ensure that we are signing the very best people that fit the method um, and that are ultimately going to deliver for us. The style of play is unique for this level. Um, as you go up the leagues, it, it is the way the best teams play. So we should make that point because ultimately that's what we're trying to achieve here. Um, and then you're right, you, what, you, what you are trying to do is find players that you think have the attributes to fit in. Um, I, you know, people point to Harry straight away because his progress was really quick uh, and, and he gets all the credit for that, absolutely. Um, but also the other players we brought in, I think everybody had their role in the system and that's, that's the thing, we need specialists that, that, that can understand and adapt to this way of playing um, and, and take on the mentality of it as well because it's a lot of information it's a lot of detail and, and the intensity is, is really high. Well, my job is now, and, and obviously we've, we've, we've touched quite a bit on recruitment here, but that's only one aspect of it, but a, a huge aspect of it is to make sure that we're, we're forward planning. So we reacted really well to Reese going um, in terms of the signings that we made. It would be even, even better for me if the answer was already in the building and we could promote an academy player or we already had signed that player six months prior. That's when I know that we'll be operating really well. Um, and that's, you know, an obvious target for us to make sure that we're um, we're basically prepared for every eventuality, as we have done for this restructure, and as we've been able to move really quickly. The buzz that we get when somebody breaks through, uh, and the academy do a fantastic job here under John. You know, they've they've gone through a lot of changes recently, but the to to sit here in the sand the other night in the under 17 game and see how we how we took on Tottenham, um, it was fantastic. And you th you you're all. I'm always looking through the lens of which one of those is going to challenge Russ's thinking they're the quickest. Um, so obviously we saw Brooke do really well, we saw one or two others really really stand out that night. Um, and yeah, that's what, that's what the fans want to see. If we, can, if we can get an MK Dons, a local through or an MK Dons fan, um, that's the best part of it. And you know, like David Kasuma's um, uh, contribution has, has been fantastic. That's, that's the type of, of player we want to see playing for MK Dons. So. Absolutely. We're not sat here thinking that the style's fantastic with a 13th place finish. We're thinking, what's next? How do we improve it? We look at some of the goals we conceded, where they came from. Um, and all, all of that is the day-to-day -day football side of the business that I'll, that, that I'll be involved in, driving standards, making sure that we improve because um, we'll, we'll all sit here and admit 13th is not good enough. We want to do better than that. We're not trying to just finish in the top 10. We want to do as, the best we can possibly do. Um, and the recruitment decisions will have a massive impact on that. But we want to support Russ and we want to have him to have the complete focus in achieving everything that he wants to achieve. So, um, yeah, we're not going to sit here and say and, and set unrealistic targets, but we're going to really strive to do the best that we can. Um, and I think that's really important because you look around the place, um, you look how differently we operate with our style of play and you think, come on, let's, let's achieve something together here whilst we've got the momentum. The fans here have been great. Um, We've really felt it actually this year, the, the online presence of obviously the guys watching it on iFollow but the support like via social media and via the contact that we have had with the fans has been brilliant um, and I'm really excited for them to see how the style has, has developed when they come back and see the game live because it's so different. We've been in an incredibly pr privileged position to see it evolve and see the nuances that, um, that Russ has changed th throughout the season. Um, so yeah, absolutely, it's absolutely fantastic. Look, let's let's really hope for a brighter, um, you know, next season, and the fans will will fill this place and uh, and cheer us on for sure. I think keeping that connection is really important. So um, you know, the guy, the fans that I've seen online doing extra things to make sure there's a connection this season. Uh, I think we need to carry that 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 momentum and and how they're feeling about their football club again is really important. So we need. We don't need to. Um, we don't need to think that the job's done there. We need to continue to connect, continue to engage with the guys, and um, and yeah, look, obviously really look forward to what could be a, a good season next year.